Hello, my feathered friends, and welcome back to High on Life, part eight to be exact. Hope everyone's enjoying this well cold weather. Hello again. <laughs> With snow and such. Okay, we're going back to here. Oh no, really? Is he now? Oh, it's you! Oh, you again! Am I glad to see you? I'm so happy we keep running into each other! Oh, look who it's our old buddy! It's our old friend! <laughs> Talking about how wh how's it going? Oh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. We'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can't hear my wife Penny calling for me. You're gonna solve this one too. Thank you. Oh, Pliny, uh, the kids are probably so scared without me. I hope Douglas isn't torturing them right now. We have Knifey, let's use him. All right, all right, that goes. and Froopy would really like you to. I can't wait to introduce them to you and tell them about everything you did for me. They need good, strong role models. Whip out Knifey! Let me rip out Knifey. I don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous. Oh, that. Uh, what else would there be? Is this one a little harder than the last one? Knifey can help! What do you mean, Knifey can help? How can I repay you? Uh, should I be working? For helping solve a puzzle, 15%? 20? Do all the puzzle solvers pull their tips and then you guys split it up later? Right. Is there some kind of puzzle solvers in here? I hope the little ones are going to tip 10%. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'd love to help, but these tentacles are too slippery. Hold on. What am I doing here?
Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. They're talking about us. Remember, I'm still here, and I support any and all mothers out there. I'll believe whatever cause they ask me to believe in. Hot mothers, not hot mothers. <coughs> well then. You know what? That looks like Douglas's office, but we can't get in that way. Maybe we can go around back. Okay. Then we go back. Hey, it's an asshole who's been fucking with our training exercises. Oh shit, here we go. Shit, we lost. Nice. Have a bet. Fuck my dick. Uh, no, thank you. There we go. I see. Or at least I think I see. Supposed to know what to do.
take that back. You know, I, I, I guess I don't. I don't know. It's I, I, I'm I, I'm I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. Okay. You never say anything anyway. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. It doesn't really say anything. Doctor Jupy, you're still alive! <gasps> oh, my best friends! This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah! Ah, uh... Sloopy, here I come. You're so good at these. I wish I was so good at these. So good. Did you go to puzzle school? Oh boy, this is a hard one. Oh, please hurry up. My family could be gone. Okay. I'm really, really trying not to think about my wife's body. By one of those devices, and it's not working, to be honest. I've decided that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it. This is what love does. Don't feel bad of it. Yes! You're Don't halfway feel bad there. Of it. Keep going. You can do it. Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy. Okay, I know that earlier I said you feel bad. Puzzle takes you a while, but I also want you to remember every second you take solving this is another good team. Dr. J. 
Jupy? There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot? You complete fucking moron! Oh, of course you are. <laughs> well then. He was Douglas this entire time? <laughs> <laughs> you never would suspect it. You're So I do get to kill the two guys. Stupid rock metal kids were called. In fact, those are his real names. Nobody would have those names. When did you ever run into something named Clemmy? Let's see how you deal with my trained recruits who are also my torture victims. Bring them on, man. Oh, I am not good to go. Look at my health. I'm gonna die. You can shoot through walls with that charge shot. My Gatlin gotcha. You're lucky you're still a little hungover. Else you'd be dead by now. Of course, I jump right into one.
Dr. Juten. I could just feel it. You want to fuck these guys up? Oh. Rifle, okay. Wants to hide, huh? Well, it's 
not gonna work. Check this out. Aim at that candy ass and shoot him through his gun. Really? He had no idea what hit him. Oh, now we gotta get across, huh? Hey, you wanna see what else this time bubble can do? so much you're gonna have to pick up the rest of the slack I got you oh jeez do I gotta spell it out for you great perfect now hurry and cross before it wears off incredible right what a thrill you know you can use that time bubble on the G3 too and try loading the bubble up with my crystals then you'll see why I'm the best Gatley. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatley. <laughs> Fuck you, you little wannabe ass bitch. So what's next? You turned in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. How's it going? Okay, so I can switch guns. Hey, kid. Another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Okay. All right, good. Get over here. Check so. this out. That's Club Nugman. Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you. They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you'd go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Club's expecting you. Okay, just immediately going through. No questions asked. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's 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 nice to meet you, sir. Look. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we're, we're, we're Gatlians, but, uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the humans would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big-name politician, and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually what? a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could what? focus more time on G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Wow, 
that, that, that's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Well, <clears throat> if that's the case, I'm going to end this episode looking at here. If <clears throat> you're enjoying this playthrough, uh, feel free to stay as long as you like. If you're enjoying this playthrough, let me know by hitting that like button down below. You can visit the human haven yourself, you... by the way. We don't know exactly what makes humans comfortable, but I hope you like how we've set things up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, share the video, and ring that bell to get notifications on when I upload. In the comments, leave a suggestion to mods, games, and any way I can improve my videos in any way, shape, or form. Face, but I am curious. I'll bet you're covered in cool battle scars. Maybe even a badass eye patch. Oh, it'd be so cool if you didn't have an eye. Peace.